21st International AIDS Conference, all agreed that more financial investments from governments and donors are required to tackle the HIV and AIDS. The opening ceremony was attended by close to 20,000 delegates, including civil society organizations. The five-day International AIDS Conference returned to Africa after 16 years. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa officially opened the conference last night. Speakers say global priorities such as migration and terrorism have diverted funding from the fight against AIDS. Warnings that recent gains in the fight against the disease were under threat were issued on the first day of the conference. Now for the latest on the 2016-21st International AIDS Conference in Durban, we go live to our SABC reporter Blaine Herman. He is standing by with two guests. A very good morning to you, Blaine. Yeah, very good morning to you, Renee. Good morning, everybody. Here, key populations that are at higher risk of contracting HIV are in sharp focus here at the 21st International AIDS Conference right here in Durban. And among them are sex workers. Now, they are part of this vulnerable group that we're talking about. And there's a group here at this, at this conference that uh, are made up of sex workers, of advocates, activists as well, uh, who are calling for the decriminalization of sex work in South Africa. But what impact would this have on the fight against HIV. I'm joined by two guests now to get more insight. The uh, Deputy Social Development Minister Henrietta Bokopane Zulu joins me now live as well as Sally Shackleton who is the Director of SWEAT which is the Sex Workers Education and Advocacy Task Force. Ladies, thank you very much indeed for your time. Minister, you did chair a session uh, yesterday, isn't it, with regards to South Africa's national plan for sex workers in terms of HIV. What is this plan all about? Uh, thank you very much. Well, the plan is uh, South Africa's commitment to sex workers. Firstly, it looks at issues of prevention, uh, the importance of where sex workers are, what kind, how, you know, how do they practice their trade. The second pillar is about uh, treatment and their access to treatment. The third pillar is about protection, care and support. And the fourth pillar is about our ability to protect their uh, inherent human rights as per South Africa's yeah. constitution. And this is between what, 2016 and 2019, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is uh, up to 2019. Yeah. Look, sex workers have generally been overlooked uh, in, in South Africa for a large time. Why now the need to re-engage? I uh, would remember that when the HIV virus started in South Africa, it was a generalized uh, uh, virus, but now it's a concentrated virus. What it simply means is that um, we have managed to keep our numbers uh, steady. We've managed to de deal with the prevalence. And as a government, when we do our uh, 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 know your epidemic, uh, know your virus um, research and evidence, we realize that uh, amongst key populations, sex workers, disabled people, men who have sex with men, the LGBTI community, as well as um, the truck drivers, uh, are actually at a higher risk. Yeah. Not forgetting young women uh, between 19 and 24 and girls between 14 and 18. Yeah, that's, that's a key group, isn't it? Sally Shackleton, are you getting from sex workers that they understand the risks that, are, are, you know, that they go through every, every day? Of course, sex workers work every day, are engaged, but I think more importantly sex workers are engaged in trying to activate for decriminalization of sex work. We are here in numbers at this conference campaigning for decriminalization. We believe that criminalization harms sex workers, we believe that it erodes our efforts to end HIV. How so? Well, because all of our efforts and our investment in, in providing services to sex workers are made uh, redundant by the fact that you can be arrested at any minute, you can be harassed by the police, you're subject to unreported violence. Sex workers are arrested for consensual sex while their rapists go free. It's an untenable situation and we've been waiting for 19 years now for decriminalization. If you we had to legalize it though, what would the impact be on HIV? Well, we're cam campaigning for the decriminalization of sex work, not the legalization of sex work. Basically, it would mean removing the laws that currently criminalize sex work and enabling sex workers to act 
on protective legislation that's available to them. Mm. That means that if I'm working, I'm able to access labor rights, I'm able to access uh, the police should I be in trouble, and I will not be subject to uh, arbitrary arrests and harassment by the police. I will have the same rights as anybody else does mm. as a working person in South Africa. Deputy Minister, you agree? Do, do, you know, is there need for debate around this issue? The debate uh, is very important. I think as South Africans we need to take a step back and actually to put this in context because when we say we are empowering women, first and foremost the majority of sex workers are women. We can't begin to say no, we need to put women in boxes, that's the first thing. But our ability as the department for an example of social development responsible to lead the prevention pillar, that sex work strategy is important to us because we are also able to protect the other woman who's the wife at home and the partner so that we, we can get to zero new infections by 20 30. We can't um, be at a stage where we are saying we put the blame on the sex workers who are selling and not put the blame on those that are buying. Mm. But we don't think the same way as the war on drugs policy did not work. We acknowledge that from an HIV perspective, uh, the continued criminalization of sex work is not to the best of our interest and it won't assist us to get to zero. Yeah. Sally, sex workers have been very vocal in this conference. Uh, we yes. saw last night at the opening ceremony, we see these red umbrellas popping up everywhere. Uh, do you feel that your voice is being heard? Until we get decriminalization, I don't feel that we are being listened to. So I would like to see more commitment to decriminalization. We are here, we are ready. Sex workers are here in numbers, even though we had to fight to be here. So I think that we are the ones that are ready. We're, we're waiting to be listened to. What about the, the, the ladies, uh, the sex workers that are out there every day? What preventative measures are in place for them? What options do they have? Well, this conference and our South African government is forging forward with HIV prevention and treatment and care. What we're saying is that those efforts are going to be eroded unless we get decriminalization. So there is access to PrEP that's currently being rolled out. In September, there will be access to treatment regardless of your CD4 count. Yeah. Those things are all very positive. But what we're saying is that until criminal, as long as criminalization exists, Exists, we will be prevented and our efforts to access those services will be eroded. Minister, can we find a solution soon? I mean, is this conference vitally important in order to get a, a way forward in terms of this? It's very important, but I also need to just clarify where South Africa and the South African government is on this issue. Uh, you would remember in 2003, we, uh, the Law Reform Commission issued an issue paper facilitating discussions and then government inform, uh, indicated to the Law Reform Commission to go and put up a report. We need to confirm that the report has been presented to the Minister of Justice. Yeah. The report was introduced to Cabinet and you'd be aware that Cabinet is on recess for the election, local government yeah. elections. So I can confirm that the, the, the issue around decriminalization of sex work yep. is on government's table okay. because when government launched the sex worker program when we hosted the first symposium for sex workers that was the beginning of government engaging with sex workers yep. it was also the beginning of us acknowledging okay. the fact that sex workers play an important element okay. that is why also as the department we we are working with sweat yep. to fund the future mothers program that is part of our prevention where yep. sex work as, as women can talk to their children, can remove the issue of stigma and have an opportunity to educate uh, South Africans because we are yeah. fairly a very consecutive country. So Deputy dialogue Minister, yeah. is the key. Exactly. Deputy Minister, thank you very much indeed for your time. Unfortunately, we run out of time. Deputy Minister Henrietta uh, Bokapane Zulu as well as uh, Sally Shackleton, thank you very much indeed. This debate will go on and we'll keep tabs on it. Uh, more to come from the 21st International AIDS Conference right here in Devon, but let's take a bit of a break. News from We'll be back after this.